Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here with a uh, another rescue case. This is a Strauman case referred to me by a local dentist. Um, he is planning to convert a full reconstruction case uh, upper to that of a hybrid. So right now <coughs> the patient was wearing this temporary bridge um, that was made uh, for him <coughs> as an interim prosthesis. And now um, we're here to rescue uh, implant number six. Now if we compare five and six together, you're going to be able to see the configuration of the screw. We've already cleaned out the bio burden and any food particles. And if you look really closely, you can actually see that the actual difference between the two. Can I have a uh, cotton roll, please? A pristine star screw, what we call the basal screw of a Strauman case, has a, a, a definite configuration that you can see. So I'll zoom in on that, and you can see there's just a little bit of changes occurring. So I would suggest, you know, all new screws uh, for the dentist. But that's, you can see the star configuration. So there's six rounded corners to the star. Now if we look at the one that's um, got the problem next door, you'll see on number six there was a prior attempt to, uh, to make that better. Can you see that right there? So just trying to steady the, the mirror under high power. All right, so we're going to make an attempt to try to unscrew that by hand. We have special instruments. We know the diameter head of that screw and so we're going to give it a, a nice try first um, with that. So we have um, this is just a basic star wrench and you can see the configuration there is star. And this is a, a fairly good wrench. There, It's rounded corners and so if we seat this with some pressure, we might be able to get this screw undone. But even before that, we're going to pre-soak this with, you got it, it's called tartar and stain remover. It's kind of like putting, um, um, I may ask my dental assistant, what's that stuff you put in with your clothes, your laundry? Uh, it's not uh, Calgon, that's for dishes, but uh, this is for dentures and it breaks up any bio burden, any calculus formation. Um, Oxyfresh, I think is Oxy OxyClean? Yeah. But this is not OxyClean. <laughs> but but tartar and stain works great on dentures and hybrids and cleans tartar. And so we're gonna put just a single drop of that in there. Let's see, there we go. Now let's see if there's any color changes that occur. Sometimes it'll squeak by and uh, and loosen up the um, the inside a little bit. And cut through the bomber. Let's see if there's any bubbles. Uh, if not, it's probably locked tight on there. So let's just have a little patience now. Just let that soak in. Um, So we'll let that soak and uh, come back with the next video clip so that we can uh, we can then test it for any uh, mobility just using a regular driver. We'll do that first because I do see one, two, three, four stars out of the six that aren't completely obliterated. So if it does manage to lock in and we can bottom this out with any interference, we just may be able to turn that and uh, and get it out of there. So let's just see if it if it's that easy. <laughs> Otherwise we're looking at definitely at least slotting it and trying to do it with a driver or just cutting all the way through and, and obliterating the head of the screw. Um, the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of composite to uh, to bridge these two together, make an index. And I'm going to do that now because uh, I want to be able to put this uh, this abutment right back in the same position. So I'm going to take some blue block out. Um, it's from a company called 
I believe it's ultra dent, if I'm not mistaken. And it's just their blue block out material. We'll put that in place. And um, that this way we have an index. Or we don't have to. And Uh, Joanne, I'm going to need the bonding light in room one, please. Okay. So by joining them together, I've got a little index, and also it takes pressure off of the uh, the implant itself. When you're turning a screw, you're not going to hurt or deintegrate the implant. So you have to take special care of that because you never know how much you know um, support the implant has, um, bone support. So you want to be able to help the cause, not make it any worse. Okay. And if it's stuck on there, you can always just grind it off. It's just plastic. And it won't interfere with the path of insertion of your screw as well either. All right, so virtually no shrinkage factor, and it just stays on there like that. I mean, that didn't take very long to do, and now it's all one piece. Now we're going to put the light up again. We're going to take a look, close look now at the, uh, and see if there's been any color change, nothing. So we're going to vacuum that out. You use a micro suction tip. Alright, so I just vacuumed that out. And now we'll just test it out with the driver. Now that's all together. Get my driver now. And this is a smaller driver. Let's see if the smaller one fits. I'll back up the magnification. Okay. I need you to take a small mirror and retract the lip, please. No need for suction yet. No need for suction yet. Okay, so let's see if I get it bottomed out in there, just make sure I got a good seat and then make a turn. What I'm going to do is I'll try to hand turn. If not, I'll take the driver. So see how that's seating now? So we still might have a chance. So I'll take my driver and my wrench together, and we'll do it together, all right? So at least we got a good seat. It's not like it's spinning around in there. Now, it may be just a small amount of pressure. That's all that's necessary. Or it may be locked on in there. So I'm going to soak it again. And uh, my instincts are telling me to just try to soak it one more time so you get the full benefit. Possibly, you know, possibly this the solution did penetrate. And maybe we just need to let it soak a little bit longer. Uh, it's worth it. So there, oh, okay, leave that alone now. Just let that soak in nicely like that. Um, what we've seen in other videos is that it soaks in and then it penetrates and then you end up seeing um, 
some brown material and then, and then it goes from clear to a cloudy also bubbles if you see little bubbles come up you know it's penetrating through um, so if it's a complete hermetic seal from whatever blood bio burden calculus plaque uh, we're, we're really fighting that and that's that's difficult but knowing that the dentist didn't make contact with the wall of the abutment and it's just a screw head uh, we still might have a chance so let's see if uh, just pre-soaking if I can say anything pre-soaking with tartar and stain is by far the best medicine for this type of procedure and allows the uh, the screw to to uh, self almost self lubricate. You know. I like retrievable cases because uh, you know you can use other parts over and again. Even if a screw head strips, you know you still can get the screw out. Some companies make their screw heads welded all in one piece, and of course that doesn't make it very easy. But they also have the benefit of not having to torque them in as much. Uh, they're basically uh, uh, you know, different different designs, different strokes for different folks. All right. So let's um, let's come back on the next uh, clip, and uh, we'll walk you through that next.